When my children were young, I remember buying them coloring books. Then I'd buy them pencils, crayons, erasers, a sharpener or two, and the little zippered cases to put everything in. We'd get together some evenings around the kitchen table, and it would all come out, and we'd all have fun spending the evening together coloring and talking. Then there was school and high school and art class and doodling in the margins of my notebooks. Even as I became an adult and aged, I'd find myself sometimes drawing little caricatures, absent-mindedly and even occasionally deliberately as I was passing time. I use Adobe Photoshop regularly as part of my business these days. I am probably in this application at least once a day for one reason or another. This one time recently, after doing what I needed to get done, I just started exploring the toolset to try to see what it all could do that I had never used as features before. I quickly noticed that I could turn a color photo into a black and white image, and then I noticed a menu full of filtering features that I had never explored before, so I started playing with them. Over time, I managed to transform the color photo into a fair resemblance of an image like I used to see as a starting point in a coloring book, and it got me to thinking about coloring and what could be done to turn different kinds of photos into different kinds of coloring books, for all ages. I am not an expert at coloring, but I do understand the fun of doing it. Being commercially minded, I got to thinking about how easy it now was to make coloring book images using the Adobe Photoshop toolset, so I experimented some more with different photos. I worked with landscapes and bicycles and teddy bears and buildings and wine bottles and some still life images and more and found that with a bit of work, all could be turned into coloring book ready images and actually it was rather fun just doing it. In my business life, I've been a consultant and am now an author and an online trainer. So it was a natural extension of thought for me to start thinking about what kind of coloring books a person could create and market online. I'm also aware that more and more people are coloring in their spare time these days, and there appears to be a resurgence of this in people's lives, as coloring books are becoming more visible in stores again. Being a trainer, I thought about how I could teach others these skills, so that maybe they could make a few dollars on the side working at home and having some fun while doing it. I felt that it sure beats watching TV all night. This is creative and possibly profitable, and the timing for this sort of side venture may be right. I don't know how far you can take this idea about generating coloring books electronically in your own life, but I do know how to teach you to get the job done so that you have a shot at achieving something extra by doing this. So here's the bottom line. My idea for you is turn your photographs into coloring books and sell them on Amazon. This is a course that I have very much enjoyed constructing as it is just such a flat out good idea from so many different directions that a person can have one heck of a lot of fun with this if one knows how to do it. The creation part of building a coloring book is surprisingly not that hard to learn how to do. Anyone who knows how to upload a photo online, knows how to use an application like Microsoft Word, and can get their hands on a copy of Adobe Photoshop can start creating coloring books in probably less than an hour. You can start making children and family picture coloring books. Create the coloring books for fun and print them off at home. No need to commercialize them at all. Wedding photo coloring books, something fun to create and share with extended family members after a wedding or send out as a thank you for those that had attended. Trips taken coloring books, to remember trips taken, camps attended, family outings, etc. From a more business perspective, use travel photos to create coloring books about different locations you've been to or obtain photos from online. Create the coloring book pages and add a narrative or two about what people are looking at. Wedding photographers, differentiate yourself and build in another revenue stream by offering a package of X quality coloring books to be sent out after a wedding. These could contain also black and white or color photo thumbnails in the coloring book as well. School fundraisers, coloring books featuring photos of the school and coloring stencils of school outings, etc. Possibly get pledges to purchase or payment up front beforehand from parents as a fundraising option. And then post these books on Amazon as well and send out links to school supporters to purchase them online. Could be sold from school websites also. Coloring book albums of landmarks, travel destinations, animals, buildings, cars, boats, trains, people, wine bottles, message stamps, etc. Pick a topic, get some pictures, generate the book, and sell it on Amazon. Doodle books. These are smaller in size coloring books that can fit in a purse or briefcase easily. Something to do, sketching and coloring while sitting at a boring event or commuting to and from work on public transit. Daytimers, 
create pocket daytimers with a to-be-colored picture on each page, a new one for each day, just something a little different to make the day more enjoyable. The cost for getting into something like this is virtually nothing. And if you have the spare time, you could have some fun at home and you could make some extra money doing it. And your friends might even get a kick out of seeing your coloring books for sale on Amazon. So take my course and enjoy yourself making a coloring book. I will show you how to do it, how to publish it, and how to market it online. Who knows? This pastime could become a good income stream for you. And you could have a lot of fun. Click where you see the links on this video to be taken to where the course starts. I hope to see you on the inside, and bye for now.